on the internet I'm gonna go by Rosling that's what I picked and uh, this is my first ever time making a um, Jesus fuck this is gonna have so many ums sorry everyone <laughs> this is my first time making a speed paint and uh, here's how it's gonna work I personally really like it when there is someone talking during the uh, speed paint and that's just me because I like to have background noise when I'm drawing or writing or doing whatever just uh i don't know why it just feels like being kept company without actually having to interact with anyone so i'm going to record a voiceover for this but then i'm going to make a separate speed paint video with the same exact painting um but no me talking so if you really hate this you can mute this on the video or you can go to the other one where i'll add some you know weird unlicensed music so the speed paint that I made today is, um, well, it's in celebration of the end of the first season of, or I guess I should say completion because end doesn't really sound that positive. The completion of the first season of Alice Isn't Dead, which is one of my favorite podcasts. Like I said, I like having background noise and uh, it's some of the best background noise out there. So this isn't actually like significant to the last episode or anything, even though the last episode was really good. And I think... It's coming up. I like briefly um, bring up iTunes to turn on that last episode because I only found out that it came out like last night in the middle of the night. And I was like, oh, well, I really want to <laughs> listen to that, but I want to be able to pay attention and not be super sleep deprived. So I'll do it tomorrow. So I was listening to it while I was making this. Anyway, um, my favorite or one of my favorite images from the whole podcast is uh, the idea of pizza night that um alice and uh oh god what's her name you find out um uh keisha right i i label the layers this is why you label your layers kids um alice and keisha's like weekly tradition of having pizza i just thought that sounded really cute and really nice and you know i may be a vegan but i like pizza all the same <laughs> so I thought I would draw that and sort of celebrate that good time before more bad stuff probably happens to both of them. I'm really excited that, you know, we're probably going to be able to hear from Alice some more soon, though. Like, there's no question in, in my mind that the voice at the end of the podcast was her. There's no one else it would be. Um, anyway, so the, the one on the right is uh, Keisha eating pizza and then uh, the one on the left is Alice and uh, I didn't really base I, I tried to sort of make their clothes match their personalities though I didn't really have a plan going in um, but I didn't really base like their surroundings on anything I was just like eh coffee table couch I have some of those so I'll just draw something that looks like that so I don't have to think about it too much because it's already I, I wanted to put the bulk of my effort into sort of tightening up the design that I have in my head for both of these characters because I don't know they're really important to me I think they're a cute couple and I want to do right by them in my art and I know that it's not like super good or anything I don't know if you noticed but I'm probably like <laughs> the messiest sketcher out there <laughs> um so that I have to like do a clean sketch and then like ink if I decide to or paint over that or whatever which takes so much extra time and is just a total waste, and I'm, but I'm working on it, you know. It, it is what it is. I'm really used to drawing with just traditional pencils, so that means I do a lot of little lines, and that doesn't really take very well on uh, Photoshop. So it's something that I'm working on. God, I hope the um, I hope the laptop fan isn't like making a really loud noise for you guys. That would suck. Uh, I'll check after the video, and then I'll probably have to re-record everything, and it'll be super awesome. Anyway, I don't know, I, I imagine Alice, like, even though she has anxiety, I imagine, or, sorry, I imagine Keisha, god, this is gonna happen multiple times, <laughs> I imagine Keisha pre-Alice, quote-unquote, dying, 
even though she has anxiety as being, you know, generally pretty happy, like, probably the happiest she's been in her life, because she found someone who accepted her, and, uh, respected her boundaries and took care of her on all those things. I think that's really what she had in Alice, and that's why, I mean, obviously they, they loved each other, but it was also really important to her to have that back, because she felt like she needed that protection. And so, to me, Alice Isn't Dead isn't just the story of, like, a, it's not just a love story, it's a story of, like, personal growth as uh, Keisha learns to fend for herself. Oh, okay, I want to point out that this um, method that I used to draw the eyes right there, where I draw the sockets first, that's not something I came up with. That I got from a lovely YouTuber named Audra Eau Claire. You guys, if you haven't already, you should all go check out her channel. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. She's uh, super fun to listen to. I agree with a lot of the things she says. Oh, this is me figuring out that I drew everything on the wrong layer. <laughs> um... But yeah, she's actually the one who inspired me to start doing this, even though I'm not really, like, she is kind of, not kind of, she is amazing at um, art. She works so, so hard on it, and she's a real inspiration to me because of that, so I've decided that even though I'm, my art skills are definitely not where I'd like them to be, the best way to learn is to work on them in a place where everyone can see me and tell me what I'm doing wrong, because that's kind of what YouTube is known for, right? But, um, uh, anyway. Okay, I really, I really like how the actual queen drawing of Alice turned out, though. I imagine her as, like, pretty sarcastic, um, kind of a lot more worldly than Keisha is want to be, just because it's easier for her to deal with those things, and that's how she ended up being sort of a protector for Keisha. So I really like that, uh, her expression in this photo, where she's got her arm around Keisha, you know, always watching out for her, and has that little smirk on her face like, yeah, I'm happy, but I'm not gonna take any of this too seriously because I don't know what might happen next. She's probably dealt with a lot more danger than Keisha has at this point, so. <laughs> okay, that's a, sort of an inside joke with myself. Sad, I know. Um, because usually all I do is like line art, then I get bored and I wander off and do something else, but since this is being recorded, it's also going to force me to actually finish the piece. And this isn't going to be the whole finished piece in this one video. Clearly, there's not going to be enough time in the video for that. I assume you've noticed. But uh, I figure that... Um, I, I figure that uh, a 9 minute video is probably a good length, so even though I only get to like some of the lines for this part... And I'm saving the pizza for later because I thought it looked cool, so I was like, if I need a a pizza in this image and I decide to stick it back in, then I have a pizza. Um, what did I say? Oh, uh, I just figure that if you need to watch something and have some background noise for nine minutes, that'll be fine, but it would probably be pretty weird to have, you know, 30 some odd minutes of that. Oh man, my sister painted my nails sparkly yesterday and one of the nails just, like, the nail polish part, not the whole nail, oh god but one of the nails just fell off. Okay, this is something that I learned from... God, I'll look it up and I'll put in the link in the description, but this guy who does, like, how to do comic coloring stuff. And there was one video where he just says, okay, so fill in the whole image with one color and then go back and make clipping masks and then pixel lock those colors on different layers. And that's been incredibly useful to me, just super, super helpful because, um... By doing that, I save myself a lot of time, and then I can go back and either sell shade or, you know, paint some stuff in, whatever I end up deciding to do. I haven't decided whether I'm going to sell or paint for this. Probably a mixture of both. I also don't know what I'm going to do about the line art, because that's still something I'm figuring out on Photoshop. Like, it could go either way, really. So we'll see. It'll be, it'll be an adventure. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, uh my rambling, your, the background of your life. Like I said, if it was absolutely ab abhorrent to you, there will be another video, so stay tuned for that. And uh, also, you know, if you haven't heard of Alice Isn't Dead, you should really look that up because it's incredible. It's just super well written, um, well acted, just all around a really, really good story and a really good, engaging product. Okay.